I wake up every day and I count up every blessing I'm saying, oh, all the shit that I've been through only made me stronger to show you guys around. All of the links and pricing and everything like that will be linked. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. But we're excited to show you around. All right, first up is going to be our squat rack. This is from Titan. This is the T3 series. It also has a 10 inch extension on the back. And we have this so that way all of our weight can nicely stack on the outside and is out of our way so we have more room in the cage. Then it also has the T3 series, obviously that goes with the squat rack, and it is the lat tower. We have a lower cable, and we also have an upper cable as well on both sides. This is like our saving grace, I think, from our home gym. We feel like we're so excited to have some sort of cables. Uh, for our plates, we decided to go with Rep Fitness. These are their bumper plates. We have two 10s, two 15s, 25s, 35s, 45s, and 55s. And then we have a small set of 2.5s to add on. We also got these local here at a Spark store. We will definitely add more to the collection later. I and mean, we want to get a couple more fives and a couple more tens, but we love these. We went back and forth. Do we get metal ones? Do we get black and white ones? And I'm so glad we decided to go with the color ones from Rep. They are awesome. <laughs> All right, the last thing that goes with the squat rack is our roller J hooks. Now we like these because it just makes it a little bit easier to center, whether you're doing squats, bench, anything, it just makes it easier to center with the little roll parts on here. For our deadlift platform, we have two pieces, three quarters inch piece of plywood on the bottom. And then here in the middle, we have another piece of plywood. It's four by four and it's also three quarters inch. And then we decided to finish it with a couple layers of polyurethane. And then here for our matting on the side, we actually got these from Tractor Supply and they are just horse stall mats that we screwed here to the two pieces of plywood on the bottom. All right guys, up next is our barbell. This is from Rogue. This is the Ohio Power Bar. It is 45 pounds and it is in black zinc. Now we really like this bar. We like the black on it. We also really like that it is very grippy and one thing that we really like. Um, another thing that we are gonna plan on doing is getting a smaller bar just to have a lot more options. People who maybe not be able to lift the 45 pound bar just give us a little bit more versatility. We waited very long for these dumbbells if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was our last big purchase that we had to kind of finish up the gym. And of course, when we were ready to buy, we could not buy them anywhere because the world was shut down. Luckily, just spiking up a conversation with someone at a baby shower, landed these amazing dumbbells. So we got them here locally in Reno, Nevada. The brand is Inspire and we have five through 55 pounds. And they are the rubber hexagon shaped dumbbells with a little bit of the grip on there and then for the rack it is a cat dumbbell rack that we actually got off of Amazon. All right this is the Marcy Apex. Very old, very old and this is something that me and Trevor actually refurbished, redid all of it. The only thing that is still from the original is the cables and we did all of the padding. We also did all new handles on here and we also got all new padding and stuff down here. So this is a leg extension machine that you can go up. This is a press machine that you can press and then this would be your chest fly part of the machine. All right guys, this is our bench. This is the AB3100 adjustable bench from Rep. One thing we really like about it is the material is a little bit more of a grippy material, which we really like. 
Also, it has all the adjustments here on the seat to prop up your seat. You also have all the adjustments here on the back side to be able to lift it up. Also has the wheels on it, so it is a little bit of a heavier bench, but the wheels are really smooth and it is really nice and easy to be able to roll around. And then we also have a Titan wall mount, which we were able to just cut a little bit out here and make the rep fitness bench fit into the Titan wall mount. We also have the little square here on the bottom that protects where the handle is on the bench so that way we're not damaging any of the wall when we're having to put the bench up. Show you guys how I put it up. and both of these are all off of Amazon. We also wanted to give you guys a quick tip for the mirrors. So these are actually two of the sliding glass doors that you see on closets and things like that. And we got them for like 25 bucks at a thrift store for each of them. And we were able to just take the screws off on the two outsides and be able to pull the whole entire frame off and then we were left with these mirrors that were in pretty freaking good shape and then we ended up just mounting them to the wall so definitely check out your local thrift store if you're looking to put some mirrors in your house or things like that because it was a total save of money compared to our big ones that we got from a local dance studio these two are actually from a local dance studio that we got delivered here but if you're looking for a cheaper option definitely check out your thrift store and see if you can take some of the framing off of the big ones for the closet doors. Our latest addition is our pull-up bar. This is from Titan. It is their 47 inch adjustable wall mount pull-up bar. Um, you can also obviously mount it to the wall, but we wanted it up and out of the way and we wanted a little bit more height since the one on our squat rack, uh, people tend to hit their feet. So super excited about this one. These are our two heating options. This is our plug-in. This has been our ride or die for years. You guys, our last place did not have heat, and so it's kept us alive in our house, I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's also come in clutch for in the gym. So um, it has different options, has automatic um, temperatures where it can automatically turn off, which is pretty cool. We found it at Walmart for about 35, 40 bucks. Definitely check this out if you're looking for an electrical plug-in option. This is our second option, which we really like this one. We have definitely been using this one a little bit more over this one just because it heats up a lot faster. So you have a propane tank and then you purchase the attachment part on the top. And so you can find out Walmart, your local hardware store, and it was about 30, 40 bucks as well. And you attach it to the top. And like I said, we really like this one. Definitely heats up a lot faster, but these are both really good options for heat. We figured if we were showing you guys everything, we might as well show you everything. So this is our homemade belt squat. We have just a couple two by fours, a couple hooks, 
We have a steel pipe with the outside diameter of two inches, so that way our weights can go ahead and slide on each side. And we also have a hole here that we use just the metal rods from our squat rack to hold it in place. And as you guys can see, this is not going anywhere. We have loaded up quite a bit of weight on here. And then we have just our normal steps to add in some height. Last, this is our homemade tire pull. So we took an old tire. We have a piece of plywood underneath here. And then we took some extra flooring and nailed it or screwed it on the top. We also have a floor flange and some piping so that way we can stick our weights here on top. And then we have an eye hook here on the side with a washer on the inside of the tire to make sure it doesn't pull through the tire. Thank you guys for watching. We really hope you guys liked it. I know we've been saying we're going to post it for quite a bit now. Thank you guys for being patient. We will be posting a lot more frequently. If you guys have any questions about anything, let us know. Or if there's something you guys would like more detail on for our next video, please make sure you comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.